My son went to Echo Hill Camp for many years, and we used to deliver him, come and visit him, and pick him up uh, for years. I mean, he became a, you know, from a camper, became a counselor. Um, and I was, uh, let's see, I was selling my brownstone in Brooklyn, and I thought I would move to Connecticut, where many friends were, and my son came east uh, to take a look at what I was considering purchase, purchasing, and he looked at me and he said, what are you going to do here all winter? Why aren't you looking at Chestertown? Of course, he really wanted to be able to visit <laughs> <laughs> Chestertown, which he does. He lives in Los Angeles. Um, so that's why I'm here. And I've been here about 10 years. And the longer I stay, the more I like this town. And that's a good way of feeling about the place that you live. Well, and I used to work in real estate at Hogan's, and uh, we started a small gallery there. And that well, I was very involved right from the beginning with that. And it was a nonprofit uh, gallery, and small, but very, very good for the artist because, again, it was one person shows. And that, and when I saw the opportunity for the artists through this, these small, this small little gallery, I realized this is something that was needed. And it, and I was dealing with artists from Chestertown and surrounding area. And this gallery here, Alpen, it really deals the same way. I mean, it's this single person uh, gallery, and it is. Uh, I draw my artists from the surrounding area. I really look for an artist who has a lot of strength and has a personality uh, that is recognizable, that I feel has a future maybe. Who am I to judge really on time? But I enjoy them and I, I really can identify with them and feel what they are all about, which is very important to art. Anybody that buys art should feel that way about their painting. Yeah. You know? yeah. I, I wanted uh, people to come in and be able to look at it, to be able to talk to the artist and find out what's influenced them, where they've been, where they're going. Uh, it's the only way to really understand a painting and, and, and identify with it as being something you can live with. Um, there are a lot of things that I, I think are important when it comes to buying art. I, I believe that you, sh you should buy it because it's reaching you, uh, speaking to you. I don't think you should buy a painting to decorate a room. And, you know, not everybody has to love every type of art. It, it's, it's a very personal thing, and I accept that. Uh, but I hope that they'll be open to it, too, just like you know, there's nothing like a good-looking duck.